Hi everyone. Today I want to do something really fun. I actually want to show you how easy it is to make a business plan with AI and how free it is. I have used this technique a couple of times on business ideas that I have and I wanted to actually just have an idea of the effort it would take to launch a business or how much it would actually cost. And so if you have a bunch of business ideas, this is a great technique for you to try. And if you don't have a bunch of business ideas, then I will, I guess we'll start by using some ChatGPT or some AI solutions to help inspire you. So we'll start right at the beginning and bear with me. This is my first time doing all of this. I'm just kind of winging it. I just, uh, this this is stuff that comes really naturally to me. If you don't know a little bit about my background, I am a um, business consultant. I help clients start their business, and then I focus on process improvements. So making sure that whatever you have in place for your business is the most effective way and effective use of your time, your budget, and your systems and processes, and even your technology. So I just solve problems, I guess. It's really my uh, my secret weapon. So we'll start with Gemini. Uh, you guys, I, I use this as a search engine, so I just use whatever. I'm not even going to hide anything. I just literally use this as a search engine. I think that using AI is really cool because it helps you get out of your brain. It's almost like talking to yourself, but uh, with your conscience, the good one. So let's start by assuming that you don't have a business idea. We can start and Google Gemini. And I really love Google Gemini because it is connected to the internet. And so it has more relevant information. Now, keep in mind that a lot of AI solutions are not going to be a business in a box. Let's put it that way. Nothing that you input and get out of an AI should be your last draft. In fact, it should resemble more of your first draft, and then you can tailor it from there. So let's start assuming that you don't have any business ideas. Let's go even deeper. Sorry, I, my brain is like, well, I wouldn't start with G um, AI. I'll, I'd start with a little bit of research. So we're going to go into Google Trends. And Let's say that I really want to figure out what's going on in my city, maybe. Um, this might be a little bit of a long shot because sometimes it's a lot of sports-related stuff when it comes to Google Trends. But we can try to do uh, the past 12 months in Tampa, Florida and figure out what people are actually looking for. And so as you guys can see, <laughs> the results are just a tiny bit underwhelming. And I figured as much. So what I am going to do is try to hone in and look for something a little bit more specific to see if I can figure out uh, some business in inspo. So here's like a kayaking opportunity. There's looking for a lot of tourist activities, SeaWorld couples. Okay, so we've got couples. And we've got things to do in Tampa for adults. So it looks like a lot of adults are looking for adult-only experiences. And so we're going to go ahead and go into Google Gemini. And <laughs> I'm a little hesitant to go with adult-only experiences because we don't know what we're going to get. Uh, but we will do our best here. Um, all right. Hey, Gemini. Uh, I'm thinking about starting a business for adults only in my city. Tampa, Florida. Can you help me think of some <laughs> PG rated activities that I can start a business around? All right. So now we'll let Gemini do the thinking for us because we're uninspired. We don't have any business ideas. And if you have some business ideas, stick with me. We're going into ChatGPT and the business plan here very shortly. So uh, here we go. Results. We've got uh, learning centers, board game cafes. That's pretty cool. Wine and paint night and escape rooms. This is a little bit oversaturated in my opinion. Adult only fitness centers, been there, done that. Been there, done that. Um, this has been on my mind actually, organizing services, but we might have to go with something a little bit more fun. Um, adult only cooking classes is really cool too. And that can be mobile. That can actually be mobilized and scaled up 
So you don't actually need a lot of money to do this. This is a really, really good idea. But for the sake of a little bit of difficulty and going into some brick and mortar experiences, let's go with board game cafes, okay? So now here's what I like to do next. We're going to start using Venture Kit. And I've used Venture Kit before. As you guys can see, it's the only one highlighted in purple. I like it because they've got some free levels and you can absolutely create a business plan with AI for free. And yes, you do have to pay if you want to dive in a little deeper with the results, but we are just going to take a look and I'm going to show you exactly what this looks like. So this is my account and I'm going to, I have a few businesses here that I actually tested but we're going to start with a new company. And what's your business idea? So we're going to get out, of, get out of this. We're going to do a board game cafe. So my business idea is a board game cafe. Next, where will you do business? It's going to be in Tampa, Florida. All right. What makes your business uh, unique? And so theme game nights weekly, local designer showcases, Eh, I don't know, but I'm not a gal with ideas when it comes to this kind of stuff. So you can hit generate ideas, but let's ask. Um, I am really loving the board game cafe idea, um, but it seems a little boring. What different ways can we make this business unique? Think outside of the box. And so this is actually going to do all the thinking for us. And as you can see, you're kind of like a pilot controller. So you control the conversation and you can even control the output, but make sure you take this as inspiration. So unique ideas for board game cafes, costume, trivia nights, live music, game design workshops. Oh, this is so cool. Make your own board game. Hmm. <laughs> That's what it's going to be. So we're going to do, let me just fill my brain here. So adult only um, board game cafe. Um, and so uh, make your own uh, board game, board game inspired by your relationships, um, milestones. Okay. Um, and then, of course, we'll have... Uh, how about this? I love this idea. Um, can you find reasons for couples not to come here? And I'm thinking because some couples might just just have met, right? So if they just met, then they wouldn't be coming to the store for um, milestone relationship, relationship board games. But maybe we could set it up for them and so do a life plan or something like the game of life. So the game of life um, and so couples can plan their life together and create a board game. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. Um, and so the purpose is, right, like purpose is um, bonding, um, aligning a vision, securing success through uh, playtime, right? That's really cool. Emotional and vul uh, vulnerability, privacy concerns. Yeah, I love this. So this is going to be the unique value uh, proposition. So we're going to do a couples board game cafe that, uh, you know, <laughs> is inspired by uh, your vision. Uh, and then can you give me some uh, business name ideas? Cool. And as you guys can see, so I'm creating a business right here with AI. I haven't really done a lot of thinking. It's only been a few minutes. So business name ideas for game of life, couples board game, um, couples quest, loves game plan, Ooh. the partner's path. Oh my God, that's really cute. The partner's, partner's playground, partner's, hmm. Okay, I like the name. Uh, partner's path also like the words playground um play time plan of life any new ideas and then let's ask uh let's let's ask venture kit which is pretty good life board cafe play together tampa mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. bonding boardroom play together tampa Oh, I'm really loving that. Okay, so let's just double check. Path and Play, Partners Life Playbook. P 
partner's plant path to happiness. I love that. So let's make that like a, 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 a motto. So play together, Tampa. Cool. Sounds a little bit like adult fun, a, adult only, adult fun, but not really, right? Um, so we are going to dive into the business plan. And so this business plan is already created for you. It's got all of the pieces that you need in order to submit your business plan for a lot of things, guys. Uh, grants, uh, SBA lending, this is pretty much prepared. But as I stated, it's AI. It's not going to give you everything that you truly need in detail for your business. So here's a fun little exercise that I really like to do. So the first thing I like to do, let's log in to ChatGPT. Okay, so we are back, I hope. Yeah, okay, so we're back. Um, I was able to log in. I'm sorry, I apologize about that. I wanted to just use a free one and my, my GPT is not free. Um, so we're in a free account, we're logged in and now we're going to do the first thing that I love to do. So of course, we have done a really great job identifying a business opportunity in our city that's really exclusive and interesting and fun. But because it's not our own business idea, it might um, be difficult to complete this business plan when you're not really sure where you're headed. So something I really like to do for my visuals, my visual people, is actually go into the next step I do is ChatGPT. And I can also suggest mid-journey. So I, I just want to be a little bit careful about what I recommend because Midjourney is a paid app. So, oh my God, so cute. Um, so just keep that in mind. We're, we're going through the free avenues of everything. So I just want to show you guys what's available, but ChatGPT is just fine. And just remember that it is free. And so you're only going to get a limit of one or two images. So just be very careful, not careful, but just mindful of how many prompts you're using for the image that you're trying to create, because you're not going to get that many opportunities to do so unless you pay. So with that in mind, uh, we are going to ask ChatGPT to create an image and it's going to be the image of the business. So create an image, um, partner's path to happiness. And it's actually called play together Tampa, right? Um, play together Tampa. So create an image of play together Tampa partner's path to happiness. And what I'm going to do is go to the business plan and Go to the executive summary and figure out what it said to me to see if there's anything I can use that's descriptive. So Play Together Tampa's pioneering, pioneering board game cafe situated in the vibrant city of Tampa. It revolves around providing couples with a unique environment where they can engage in fun and interactive experiences. Great, right? They can design their own board, board games. Partners can explore their aspirational goals. This is so cool. And so we're just going to take this just first thing that looks great and we're going to add it to ChatGPT. And we're going to say, make me an image. And this is purely inspirational. I really love to do this because I can actually then see what the heck is happening in AI and myself's brain, right? What are we creating? What are we doing? And this might actually then spark more inspiration. So as we let that create its images, that's really cool. Great. That's exactly what I pictured. So partner, uh, part, yeah, it, Chad GPT is not very good with words, but... Um, here is an image that's going to help you kind of understand what this is supposed to look like. Now, I think I would like it to be a little bit more intimate and we can also give it some design style recommendations. But for now, just for the sake of this exercise, let's pretend that this is absolutely perfect. So we could technically save this and we could also add it into the cover page of our business plan. But just remember that this is the free version. So um, you know, I might not actually let you, but we can give it a shot. Great. So it actually let us put the image there. So this is a great start. So now you've got to start to the business plan and you can see most of this business plan. And I wanted to show you guys how to generate it with AI or what to do next, right? Now, in the beginning, I, I said that this is not a complete business plan. This is not like ready to go, but mainly it's because it's not truly your vision and not really your viable vision. Why do I say that? Well, let's talk money. Let's talk budget. Let's talk preparation. Let's talk time frame. This might be an amazing business opportunity, but is this actually viable for you, right? Is this truly viable for you? Did uh, AI create this conglomerate of an idea from what you fed it? And it's not truly viable. And the reason I want to highlight this is because this is why most businesses fail. It's because you don't have a, a business plan that makes sense for you. 
And not only that, but it doesn't quite align with your affordability, with your preparation, with your experience. So creating a business plan is extremely important. And having AI can pretty much turn this entire weeks and weeks of experience into quite literally 10 minutes, but you still have to tailor this and look this over to make sure that it aligns with what you can actually pull off. And to give you an example, I have done the same thing for other business ideas that I have and things that determined whether I wanted to proceed with this business is first things first, the SWOT analysis. So of course, read this over. A lot of times it might make things up that you might not like. For example, I want this to be an intimate experience. Maybe in the problem or in the solution, it's gonna give group experiences. And so maybe I don't want groups to be doing this because it should be intimate. And so what I would do at that point, let's say just for the sake of this, that you did not like what it put, pulled off on the executive summary or the mission. For the sake of the exercise, I'm going to take this um, and then go into ChatGPT and start my editing process. So I really love this, but let's pretend that I didn't, right? And let's say that through the art of designing, your partners can explore. Yeah, I really, really love this. It happened to be like perfect, but let's pretend that, um, great, let's do this. Can you... Uh, tailor this to a more um luxury and intimate uh intim intimate uh type of experience um for my executive summary on my business plan okay great so yeah i just decided maybe let's make this more luxurious right this is too uh common looking, I guess, or to, I don't know, I, I love it the way it is. But now we are asking ChatGPT to elevate this. And so this is the opportunity that you have to work with two AI platforms that's super easy. We're going to leave behind the Google Trends, the mid journeys for another day. We'll li leave behind the, the Gemini, right? We'll leave the, behind the Google Trends. We're already now deep into the uh, business plan creation process. So now let's say that we loved this tranquil and elegant, premium offerings, private game design sessions. Now we're talking, right? So now we can charge premium prices for this. And we can then go ahead and edit this. Uh, we, can, we can actually do this with this AI, but I don't like to do that because this AI is just going to do it, right? It's gonna do it without our, our input. And that's the part that I would change about this specific business plan app is that it's going to do it without your input. So I like to put in my input, copy paste it into GPT, put in my input, and then come out with something that's more me and something that makes sense for me. So let's go into, is this business plan viable? And it's going to tell you for free the SWOT analysis, which is one of the most important parts of your business plan. It's the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and your strengths and threats. And the reason you want to read through this and comb over this is to make sure that this aligns with something you're ready to tackle. So here are the weaknesses of the company, right? Limited audience appeal. It is very exclusive. It is only for couples. Fine by me. It's dependent on its physical space and location. Totally fine. We'll talk about the projections later and see if it's something I can afford in terms of rent and space. Then potentially high operational costs related to maintenance and game inventory. Totally fine. Ally Express, DHgate. There's so many Asian um, platforms where I could just get a lot of pieces and board games and things like that that I can get created and made. That's not very expensive. I would probably allocate a good five or $10,000 in the beginning stages for design and products. And then challenging and marketing, no problem. So the weaknesses of this business don't scare me. What about the threats? There's competition with other entertainment venues and cafes. That's fine. This is very exclusive. Economic downturns affecting discretionary, discretionary spending. This is true. So I have to be recession ready. And that has to be on my business plan as well, right? Understanding when I go into viability analysis, understanding if there's a downturn, if there's another COVID, if there's a World War III, if there's anything happening, how is that going to affect my business? And will I have the ability to pivot 
so that I can make sure that it is on my threads. I do know that this is a luxury experience. I do understand that this is not recession proof or evergreen. So what can I put into place to make sure that my business will not suffer or at least survive in case of an economic downturn? That's really, really big. It's really important. But a lot of our businesses aren't going to be evergreen or necessity based. So it's very it's very simple to understand that this is going to happen, but sometimes we don't think about that stuff until we see it on paper. Then there's going to be digital entertainment, of course, somebody probably ripping me off or doing it virtually. And then, but this, nothing beats the experience of having a board game that's yours, right? That you can actually play every year and remember all the things that you guys set together when you started the relationship, right? And then there's probably regulatory challenges to food and beverage. So we might not include food and beverage in the beginning stages, especially with myself. I don't have a lot of experience in food and beverage, so we might have to take that out. And as you guys can see, um, this is this is completely ed editable. So you can remove or, or add things. And remember that if you do decide to take this out, you have to read through your entire business plan to note places where food and beverage was mentioned. So it's really important for you to go through this with a fine tooth comb and be very familiar with what you're creating, even though it wasn't your technically your own idea, if that makes sense. So this is going to show you everything from viability analysis. Is this actually a good, I, good business idea? We're shooting for 75 or more. So this looks really, really good. And then with market demand and competitive advantage, th this is the time where you put your thinking hat on and you put in go back to maybe Gemini that's connected to the internet. And you can say, um, can you lead me to a few uh, resources? So as you guys can see, I just kind of, uh, there we go. So it, it will it will give you some guidance and this is, there we go. So it, it does, it does, because it gave me guidance last time on what I was doing. So it'll give you some guidance on where to go and what to look for when you're doing um, data research. And you can also see, there, there it is. So it'll tell you, it'll tell you exactly where to go and how to do the data research. I do want to disclose that a lot of the data research is paid for, but I was able to get as much free information for one of my business plans as necessary by just scout, scouting the internet and trying to take it apart and understand what the numbers really look like, because that's your job as your, uh, as the CEO, as an entrepreneur is figure out if what this business plan is saying is true and how is that going to affect you and make it as accurate as possible. So now that we have an idea of how this business plan is done and how amazing this venture kit AI really is because I absolutely love it, I'm going to show you what I created in the terms of another business plan because I actually paid for it. So I was working with Perfumeria. This is a business that I created the same exact way, the same exact formula. And so I tailored all of the executive summary. As you guys can see now, this is paid. I went through the SWOT analysis. I went through the business model and the things that I want to actually have as revenue uh, producing activities. So it's sales, subscriptions, fragrance workshops, online retail and e-commerce, memberships, and collaborative partnerships. And so this is really important. I actually added this last minute because when I was doing my viability analysis, it turned out that my Perfumery Fragrance Cafe was not that strong in market demand. And I actually did all of this research and I put in my sources so you guys can see that I was doing the research. So it wasn't a very strong um, market demand and it wasn't evergreen. So a lot, of a lot of the information that I found online made me realize that the growth rate for this business that I created was too low. A healthy gro growth rate is much higher than this person than five percent right so we're looking right now from my research we're looking for a growth rate of 20 percent or higher in order to partner with other industries because my growth rate is too small so what that means for me when i did my market research what i what that means for me is right now i went through my swat and i realized that i wasn't scared of my threats i wasn't scared of my opportunities or my weaknesses and i wanted to keep moving forward so then I went to the viability analysis right here and I started to do the homework.
work and research how viable is this business really. When I dug into the industry, which I did with a lot of data analytics and understanding a lot of data websites, right? Don't use AI for this. You want to use real data to show you the real numbers in that industry and what is actually happening. So when I went through the data analytics, I found one thing that possibly would stop me from proceeding with this business model. And this is the reason we're doing this, guys. It's not so that you can just create a business with AI, shoot in the dark and just go off and start that business just because you have a business plan. It's putting a business plan together so that you can understand what is actually going to stop you in that business plan. What is going to be the hurdle? What is going to be the part that you are potentially unprepared for so that you can either be ready, prepare, or quit while you're ahead. And that's the truth. There's nothing wrong with that. I have quit like five different business plans because I did not like what I see, what I saw, right? I didn't like what I found. So with this specific industry, it's perfumery and I have a 5% annual growth rate for that industry, but a healthy growth rate from what I understand to be true from my research was anywhere between 10 to 20% growth rate. So there's other industries that are growing much faster than mine if I choose to go into this. So what does that mean for me though, right? What am I learning from this specific information? What I'm learning is that partners, right? Where was my where was my collaborative partnership models are going to be the bread and butter of my growth. Maybe not of the revenue, maybe not of the opportunities, but it's going to be the bread and butter of the growth of the company. So I went ahead and added it to one of my revenue opportunities in the viability of an analysis and business model. And I also identified it as the Achilles heel of my industry overview. So I decided in my business plan that I was only going to network and partner with non-competing industries, right? Because we don't want to go into fragrance to fragrance because that means we have too low of a growth rate for each other. We don't want to do that. What we're looking for is an industry that has a growth rate of 20% higher to partner with, and that will increase our own growth rate. So if somebody were to come to me, to my store, to my brand, to want to partner, I then have my business plan to go by and I can say, I need a, an industry that grows by 20% or higher. So is it makeup? If, is it clothing? Whatever it is, I can then uh, pinpoint it and decide if I want to work with that brand or if I want to work with that industry or not because I already set it up in my business plan. And that's how you avoid any mistakes in the future and partnering with the wrong people, with the wrong brands, with the wrong things, and even failing to partner because you didn't understand the growth rate and how it affected your entire business model. And then now you've got a brick and mortar store that you're operating out of because you had this dream, but you didn't do the numbers and you didn't do the business plan. And you're wondering why you haven't broken $100,000 that year because you didn't realize and didn't understand how important it was to do the industry overview and understand and analyze what these numbers mean for you and how much of the pie are you actually taking. So we're going to move on. And I went into target audience. I basically created all of this and I used AI with this. I basically just determined, um, in short, you know, the population of Tampa, how many of those women are, are uh, fragrance enthusiasts? Where are these women buying? What are they missing? And then I went and did a little bit of my own research. And it's okay to ask your friends, your families, your network. It's okay to ask the internet because now you're doing research trying to figure out what do, what do you want? And what I realized is most people, when they want a fragrance, they only go to one place and it's the mall. And when they go to the mall, there's only two places, the kiosk, which sometimes people, and not to, not to talk bad on kiosk because we don't know, but you go to a kiosk and then sometimes people might say that that kiosk is, is selling dupes right? It's not authentic. Maybe they're watering down their fragrances and then no hate to kiosk because that's that, that couldn't be further from the truth. But we, we don't know. And that's the reputation that they might have versus going into a high-end retail store where they're trying to sell you $500,000 perfumes and you, you're stuck in the middle. There's not a place to go to where you can actually buy a fragrance or even create your own. And so this is where this was born. I did my market research. I did the size of the trend. I figured out how many people were, were, were out there looking for these opportunities. And funny enough, during my research, a lot of things that I realized is that there is a huge gap for male perfumes. So that now gives me another opportunity in my business model to focus on male perfumes if I wanted to, because if I did, then that would increase my growth rate. It would increase my customers. But 
now we know are males sitting down creating their own perfumes not very likely right so i have to make a decision at that point do i want to do a diy perfume experience for my girlies and my men or do i want to now pivot this entire business plan to sell male perfumes in a store that doesn't make DIY perfumes or maybe complements it with DIY, right? We don't know. It doesn't have to be one or the other. But now this helps me understand where my opportunities are and where I could potentially make more money. And that's really the idea, right? Why are we in business? We are in business to make more money. We're in business to earn more. So the way that we earn more is by making a business plan, understanding the market trends, understanding our competitor analysis, understanding what we're going to offer, understanding how we're going to help our people, understanding the market, how we're going to do our social media. I mean, and you guys, I want you to see, I want you to see how full this business plan is that it, te it tells you exactly every step that you need to take. And I think this is absolutely brilliant tool and strategy. And all you have to do from here is keep this live, keep it updated, and then edit accordingly. And if you're feeling confused about how you want to edit, we just did the exercise, right? And it's taking something like this and just saying, you know what, I'm not really sure that I like that, but I also don't have any better ideas. So you can just go in here and then do you have any better ideas? And it's that easy. It's that easy that you can go ahead and change something to more accessible, more luxurious, female focus, male focus, something that's more closer to you and your vision. And so you can use both AIs to complement each other. And then you can start to edit your business plan until you're totally, totally happy with it. Now, what's the best part about this is what I find my clients struggle with the most is financials. And this gives you a financial business plan and it gives you some semblance and expectations of what this is going to look like. And I do want to disclose that I did have to customize this because this business would not be in business in 2024. So I had to take this out. But you do have to then go back, do a system of checks and balances, right? We don't have partnership opportunities here. So I haven't gotten this far, by the way. I was just editing, but we don't have everything here. So how do we, how do we match this? We have to match revenue with our business model and whether we write it down or put it on a separate sheet, we then have to take each of this, each of these revenue producing activities from our business model and plug them into our revenue. And then I work very conservatively. So I want to have a very low number here because we want to assess our risk. We want to make sure that what you're getting into is actually going to be viable. So this company, according to this, and these are very raw numbers, and as you can see, I haven't got into the financials exactly, but let's pretend that I did nothing at all and that uh, VentureKit AI just fed me this revenue expenses, blah, blah, blah. And so they, they basically said, here, this is your business plan. So I look at my profit loss and it looks like my 5% growth over a year is in play, right? So growing more is going to be up to me. And I already know if I get into this business, it's not going to be a really big growth. Um, so it's not going to make me a millionaire. It's, I'm going to have to hustle at this if I want to get into a business like this. But what's really cool is that I can then take a look at my profit loss and figure out if this is even doable for me. Am I going to be able to be okay? Am I going to be able to cover my expenses? And by the looks of it, it looks like I'm going to be just fine, right? It's going to be a loss in the first year. It's going to be okay the second year. It's going to be even better as I grow. But is this realistic? No, right? This is just AI's beauty version of your business plan. So it is your responsibility to go in here and do some homework. Now, I am doing homework and I will give you guys the cheat sheet. Uh, probably not the most effective way, but it's the best way I know how. So what I have thought to do is look up uh, perfume franchises or retail franchises is what, I, what I've done in the past. And this is going to be the hack. And this is how we're going to end this uh, video because I feel like I gave you guys a lot of homework and a lot to do, right? There's going to be a lot to do. And if you want me to cover any of these specific areas and do them with you, I will because this is my passion. I love doing this kind of stuff. So what I what I have done is look up. Um, now I already did this homework, so it's a little bit hard for me to uh, to um, 
find this because I already did the homework. So maybe we'll do um, escape room franchise for the uh, for the sake of the game. Okay, so there are escape room franchises, and so disclosure. So for those of you that don't know, I've learned this from my uh, business franchise homework and just looking into this, right? So there's going to be a lot of uh, franchises. Actually, all franchises have a disclosure. And what is a disclosure? The disclosure is basically the PDF or the paperwork they give you so that you can know and understand what it's going to take to actually start that franchise. And they show you their financials. So you can actually pull a uh, franchises financials to see how much something is going to cost now for the sake of this video because you do have to do a little bit of digging to find free financials if we can't find something i'll just pull up a disclosure i already have but perfect so this is a random you want to do a little better homework than this right so if you're going to do like subway subs then maybe look at subways for, uh, for financial disclosure if you're doing retail maybe look for a retail so don't just pick any disclosure you want to pick a disclosure of a franchise that suits your industry as closely as possible because it's going to tell you exactly what your expenses are possibly going to look like and so here we have new games right remember i said it was about to be five thousand dollars to create games so that was my budget but here they'll tell you exactly how much you're going to have to spend on training on the build out on licenses on insurance on attorneys on and this one's a little big, so not it's not the best one, but I'll show you guys. There's even more. There we go. Oh, <laughs> of course. Of course. So basically, they tell you exactly, look, they tell you exactly what you're going to be paying for what and how you're going to be paying that. So a lot of disclosures will tell you exactly how much you're going to be spending on that business. So, the, and, and they truly are free. Okay. So I do want to disclose a lot of disclosures are free. A lot of might be paid for here. I hope that we can. Okay. So I can't show the disclosure that I, that I have. It's probably, and but for liability, probably best we don't show it, but basically the disclosure will give you a line by line item of what is going to be your expenses. So my recommendation is that you go on to the disclosure and onto your business plan and start to plug in the numbers of what this is actually going to cost. So your expenses and what you're ex you're expecting to expense on and what you're not and try to match it as closely as you can to that franchise disclosure because generally franchises are much more expensive to start and operate and run and because of that you will be most likely in the safe zone if you're using their inflated numbers because you as a solopreneur or entrepreneur are not going to be going into a franchise model where there's royalty fees and recurring fees and software fees and a lot of things that you have to pay them just to have the the brand name so that's going to be avoided but the best thing you can do for yourself is go into the disclosure fee and then match up what they say you are going to spend money on and plug it into your venture kit ai so that you can actually see what the reality is of how much money you're going to need out of your pocket and don't forget that you have to account for loan repayment okay do not forget that because if you get a brand new startup loan, you get an SBA loan, you get blah, 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 then you have to, I wasn't ready for this. I, <laughs> so then you have to be ready for that. And a lot of people, right? A lot of people don't account for that. So now that changes our numbers because we still have to rent, utilities, cost of goods sold, but we also have to repay the loan that they gave us to get this whole thing started. So don't forget to account for that. Very important. But I hope this was helpful for you. And this is really how you make a business plan with AI. This is truly an amazing, amazing platform that I found. As of right now, I'm not an affiliate for them because I just thought it would be fun to do something like this and show you guys how it works. But you can export this and it is pretty reasonable. I believe I paid like $20 um, $20 to get full access to the business plan for this fragrance uh, cafe. So it was super easy, super fun. And you can always use ChatGPT free version to give you a couple of insights on how to create this business plan more effectively. And yes, um, hopefully if I do end up getting accepted for their affiliate program, please click my link, you guys, because this was 
There, nobody is doing this with you guys on the internet, that I'm sure, okay? So people are trying to sell this information online. They're trying to give you a bunch of fluff. And this is truly actionable steps on how to make the little idea that's in your head a reality. And even cooler is how to make uh, AI random thought something that's concrete and it's going to change your life forever in the form of a very credible and amazing looking business plan. So don't be afraid to do the work. Now you've got tools that are going to do a lot of the work for you and you've just got to put your thinking cap on and make sure you do the research, which is the most important part. I hope you guys found this valuable. I know a lot, a lot, a lot, but thank you so much for sticking around and please leave me a comment below if you want to learn more or you want me to dive in a little deeper. Love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging around. Bye.